Either you are loaded with Christmas money looking to spend it, or you're really broke after Christmas, and so you don't want to spend too much money for the games you love. Either way, there's a New Year's sale going on right now on the Nintendo eShop, and these are some really good deals. You've got Nintendo first-party games, you've got some AAA third-party, and then you've got these other games that not a lot of people know about, which we're going to start with first. We have Hollow on sale for $2 from $20. Shout out to my boys at switch up for bringing this to my attention this game is awesome just kidding it's trash don't buy it don't buy this game at all the first game i want to highlight is nino kuni wrath of the white witch $50 down to $10. This RPG is awesome. It will remind you of Pokemon. It seems like turn-based battles, but it's not really turn-based. The cutscenes are literally made by Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli, however you want to say it, this game is like you're playing a living cartoon. It's an RPG. It's an adventure. It's awesome. Pick it up, please, for $10. You've got Little Nightmares 2 over here, $30 bucks down to $20. That's a creepy game. It's not co-op, even though it looks like it. It's really creepy. It's puzzles. It's adventure. Check that game out if you're into that sort of thing. You've got the Crisis games on sale right there. You've got the entire trilogy. Super Monkey Ball Mania, $40 bucks down to $30. And Sonic Colors Ultimate is on sale again, $40 bucks down to $30. I know a lot of people have said this game is not great, but a lot of people say this game is awesome as well, especially if you're a Sonic fan. Some people say they've had a lot of glitches. People that I've talked to personally say they haven't had any issues. So I say if you're a fan of Sonic, jump in, go for it. Star Wars Republic Commando, $15, down to half off $7.50. You've got Plants for Zombies Battle for Neighborville Complete Edition, $40, bucks, down to $18. That's a fun multiplayer game. It's really goofy, but it can get fairly competitive as well. You've got 8v8 multiplayer. Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, 40 bucks down to $28. If you like Skyrim and you want another taste of that Skyrim type game, that's the one for you. It actually came out around the same time, but was overshadowed. You've got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, 40 bucks down to $12. This is one of the best racers on Switch, and it just looks beautiful. It's a a remaster of a remake. It's really done well on Switch. Oceanhorn 2 Knights of the Lost Realm is 30 bucks down to $23. Honestly, a lot of people look past this game and if you like Zelda, this is not a bad adventure. It's almost kind of like Skyward Sword with like some Breath of the Wild vibes and it's really on rails, but it's actually not bad. I actually enjoyed it. It was a good game to play while falling asleep. And Ori and the Will of the Wisps half off 30 bucks down to $15. This is an Xbox Microsoft game. It looks great on the Switch though. It's very vibrant. It's a Metroidvania. So if you want some more of that flavor, that's a great pickup as well. Windbound reminds you a lot of Zelda. It looks a lot like Zelda, but it's actually a survival game. 30 bucks, uh, maybe a little expensive for that game, but $10.50, that's not a bad pickup right there. It's procedurally generated islands. It's crafting, it's cooking. Check that one out. Spirit Fair half off 30 bucks down to 15. This this game has a beautiful art style, it's cozy, but it will also make you sad, it's very touching, there's management going on, there's exploration, check that one out. Cross Code Pixel Art RPG, 20 bucks down to $12, it looks old school, but I want to say it doesn't really play old school, it feels like an open world RPG. 2D style, it's really cool, it's really fun. And another good racer on the Switch, Burnout Paradise. Not the best Burnout, but 30 bucks down to $9. If you want a really good racing game on Switch, kind of a controversial opinion, but I think it's a pretty solid racing game. And don't sleep on Bug Fables, 25 bucks down to $12.50. It may not be, in my opinion, the most beautiful game, but it harkens back to the classic Paper Mario games. If you weren't that excited about Paper Mario, the Origami King, check out Bug Fables. You've got Chucklefish jumping in the sale with Wargroove and Eastward. Eastward is a newer game. It reminds me a lot of Zelda. Now, I will tell you the art style is beautiful. It's an RPG. However, it is a little bit of a slow game, so you have to be in it for the dialogue. You have to be along for the ride. Don't expect just non-stop action, but it's 25 bucks down to $22.50. Just a little 10% discount, a little extra incentive to have you check it out. Grease, $17 
dollars down to four dollars and 24 cents pick that one up it's a beautiful art style there is no combat it's all about puzzles and it's all about story and it's all about just feeling emotions you've got the messenger 20 bucks down to eight dollars and now let's jump into the meat and potatoes of this boom you also have nintendo first party games but you have bethesda jumping on the sale as we often see them do we have some 2k but check this out wolfenstein 2 the new colossus 40 bucks down to 12 dollars you've got doom 2016 40 dollars down to a price that it probably just should be anyway 20 dollars the sequel that came out several years afterwards doom eternal built upon what doom 2016 did it's almost the same price 24 dollars down from 60 bucks this is an even better deal you may just want to skip straight to this but why not pick up both of those games but check this out for 25 dollars you can get this bundle with doom doom 2 doom 3 doom 64 and doom 2016 all at once that's a killer deal and if you like first person shooters you like immersive stories with twists and turns and you love a great imagination check out bioshock infinite 20 bucks down to eight dollars with all of the dlc in fact all of the bioshocks are on sale i will say they go on sale quite often but look at this the collection 50 bucks down to 20 get all three of them but in my opinion if you just get one please get infinite a lot of people will say go for the first one remastered 20 bucks down to eight dollars these are awesome games and they look great on switch i think bioshock the first one is a little too dark for me it didn't get me into the series i had to play the third one to understand the first one and then i got into the whole thing but i highly recommend bioshock it's very imaginative it's very weird and of course you have borderlands on sale as well I also real quick have to recommend Dragon Quest Builders 2 50 bucks down to $35 This game is super slept on but it is seriously like Minecraft But it's an RPG if you like Dragon Quest if you like the idea of Minecraft This is a huge world you can build you get blueprints There's a little bit more of a direction and quest and story compared to Minecraft Which I think is cool, but check this out. How often do we see Super Mario Maker 2 go on sale? 60 bucks bucks down to $42. This is the game that keeps on giving because you can make a bunch of levels, share them with your friends. You can check out your friends levels. You can go browse online and check out all the levels online and you can play custom made levels that are from all of the different retro games and the, all the different art styles. It is very awesome. You've got Mario Tennis Aces 60 bucks down to $42. Same with Arms 60 bucks down to 42 bucks. Not my favorite games, but they are they're Nintendo first party. They don't go on sale that often so boom there you go you all awesome deals here let me know if there's anything i missed if you have a different opinion that i do on any of these let us know in the comments below i would love to hear it then make sure you subscribe if you like the nintendo switch as much as i do and tap on those boxes on your screen right now and i'll see you over there in another video